Can motorists read a book while using a new Level 3 automated driving system? Text friends or even watch TV? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Experts say Level 3 automated driving brings many questions and legal risks. But now Mercedes-Benz plans to sell vehicles equipped with Drive Pilot, a Level 3 automated system, and the first of its kind in the marketplace. Our director of tech and innovation coverage, Pete Bigelow, says... They want to be the first to deliver what I kind of perceive as a magic moment where you can tell people, and Mercedes is telling people they can uh, take their attention from traffic. Level 4 automation is fully automated driving in certain conditions and geographical areas. And Level 2 is sophisticated driver assist systems. When it comes to Level 3, such a system can maintain control and responsibility of a car in certain scenarios. But the human driver must take control upon the system's request. The idea that we can change transportation with, with technology and automation, uh, you know, there is vast potential there. Uh, so that is, that's the exciting part to me. There are legal and regulatory questions surrounding what a motorist can or cannot do and more complexity when understanding who or what is responsible for a vehicle's operations. Level 3 complicates that. Level 3 is what uh, you know one person calls a mushy middle of those two things. So what is it going to take? It's going to take some regulatory clarity as to who's responsible, how we identify in a given moment. And it's not clear whether drivers can remove their hands from the wheel or their eyes from the road. So there's still a lot to be ironed out, even as Mercedes-Benz says they're launching this system later this year. With Level 3 automation, the system assumes both active control and responsibility for driving when engaged. In the SAE levels of driving automation, the human motorist is not considered the driver at Level 3. And experts say manufacturers should be liable for mistakes made by the automated driving system. Companies writ large like to talk about the performance of their systems. Uh, maybe not so much the limitations, but you'll find the limitations in the driver or in the owner's manual. But the allure of level three automation is obvious. It could deliver on the broad potential of freeing a motorist from the monotony of driving. But many uncertainties still lie ahead. Potentially has great safety benefits if the car is a better driver than the human. Uh, but, but it's so early that we can't, uh, there's no, proven way to say that this is safer right now. Thanks so much, Pete, for taking the time to speak with us. To read more on his story, go to autonews.com. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at autonews.com. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.